Back to that Uber robot. Imagine if you got picked up by the Uber robot. You gave it instructions and address where to take you. It pulled off and imagine, as soon as it pulled off, it began playing Lloyd Banks. Hunger for more. And you go to hitting the button. I'm uncomfortable. Let me out. Exit, exit, exit. I'm assuming there's something like that you got to push if you want to get out. Exit, exit. And what if it don't respond? And regardless of what you push, it keep going back to Lloyd Banks. Hunger for more, hunger for more. You panicking. It won't stop. When does it become kidnapping? And who do you file? Talking about the way he pushed. Used to punch the clock in jail. Drove his mama car around. Now he got what you want for sale. See it, I bought it. It's efficient with I flaunt it. If he diamond really real, and put the diamond test on it. He don't want it. I run up on his shadow, hit him proper. He by real is a four dollar bill. Carol City copper, chop him down one by one. Two by two, this what I do. If you knew what I know, then you'd be cool. You'd be too. Hey yo, Rick Ross is a mop and fool, yo. It's Bryce Davis on the check in. So Rick Ross was recently speaking about Teslas and for some odd reason, he just randomly started throwing shots at Lloyd Banks talking about what if it just trapped you in and start playing, you know, the Hunger For More album by Lloyd Banks. Like, yo, that, that Ross is wilding right now. <laughs> like, I don't know what's wrong with dude, but Lloyd Banks uh, definitely just dropped uh, Cody 2 last year. Definitely a dope project, you know, uh, despite what Raw says, I like Lloyd Banks, I listen to his music, I think he definitely makes the best wintertime music for sure, uh, even Hunger For More, my joint is uh, Playboy, put your hands up, put them up, put them up, but in case y'all don't know, Lloyd Banks and Rick Ross, they had their feud back in the day, back when 50 Cent was going at Ross, and you know, 50 tried to stop Ross's career, but it didn't quite work out the same way it did with Job ja because Ross continued to put out good music at the end of the day. And I think that's what every artist should do when they're under pressure. Just ignore the pressure and just keep putting out good music. Like, you know what I'm saying? Especially if the artist attacking you is bigger than you and, you know, and he's just coming at you with everything he got. You know, uh, I think Banks definitely got him with that joint, you know, that I played a little bit earlier before the, you know, video started. But, you know, uh, that was years ago, so I have no clue what caused Ross to reignite the beef. Um, I don't think Banks is going to respond. It'll be interesting if he does. You know, back in the day, you know, things like this happened. Dudes would drop a freestyle the next day and let you know not to, you know, say their name in a rhyme, whatever the case may be. But nowadays, dudes just go to Instagram and Twitter to get off their beef. And, you know what I'm saying? The game's definitely changed, but Banks ain't really a social media guy, so probably ain't gonna see that. So we'll definitely be, you know, staying tuned, seeing what happens next. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe.